Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to search for people with uh, certain roles in specific companies. Um, so I'm going to focus on um, e-commerce in uh, Germany, Austria, Switzerland. So let's start with uh, e-commerce. I'm going to filter it. I'm going to use Crunchbase Pro for this first uh, initial search. I'm going to also write e-commerce in one word, just to be on the safe side. And I'm going to write here retail as well. So I'm going to filter out by these. Uh, Germany. Austria, don't use Australia for this case. Sweet. Uh, so we narrowed it down from over a million to 6,000. Now, these companies have their headquarters in one of these countries. That's what I want to filter by. And I want to filter it, also filter it by the number of employees. So let's go for uh, companies with more than 5,000 people. So we narrowed it down to 77 companies. And here are their names and some details here. Now I'm going to export it to a CSV or Excel file. Let's open it just to see what we have. So here's their organization name and some more details here, the URL, the website, etc. But in this case, I'm not interested in most of the data here although you can use it for various purposes so i'm gonna just leave it here just the company's names as you can see here there are 77 we'll get back to it in a few minutes let's minimize it and now i'm gonna go to the the other tool which will help me search for the people in these companies. So I'm going to go to the sales navigator. And I'm going to filter by what I need. So first of all, I need the companies. Now I can insert here the names of the companies, but I have 77 of them. So let's just see an example. I can just take Zalando, for example, and put it here and hit enter. And I get more and more uh, people, but I don't wanna insert 77 companies one by one, it's pretty annoying and tedious. So I'm gonna use uh, Excel for this and some text editor just to make it easier for me. So first of all, I'm gonna uh, select all these, 77 of them, you can see here on the right hand side. Copy it here and then right click paste special and transpose just transposes the, their names by the way you can also do it from here now I don't need this first column and now um, since there are 77 I'm gonna make it into um, seven lists of uh, 11 companies each time. So let's do this. You'll understand in a minute what I'm doing here. Okay, these are the first 11. You see on, their, on here on the right hand side below their number, their count. So I'm gonna cut it. That's the second part. 
delete all these columns and take the next 11 next 11 it's going to be over very soon much easier this way that's the fifth one Number six, and the last one here. Again, I'm gonna select them all just to see that we have 77 and I didn't miss anyone. Okay, now I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna open this um, file with a text editor. I'm gonna use a text editor whose name is Notepad++. It's a free tool. I'm going to open this file. And as you can see, all the names here are in seven rows of 11 each one of them. And in order to use these names easily, I need to wrap them in a way that Sales Navigator will know how to read them. So here's what I'm going to do I'm going to add opening an opening bracket here 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 in the beginning of each of these seven lines and I'm going to replace all the places where I have a comma by hitting control H or just find a replace and I'm going to replace it with a quotation mark or and quotation mark the or must be in a in capital letters o and r now replace all and now you can see it shows the names and then or between them or dot right dot telecom etc and i'm going to the end of each line and put a quotation mark and a closing bracket. Now I'm going to copy each one of these rows one by one. And browse to the Sales Navigator search. And here I'm going to paste it and hit enter. I can remove this by clicking on the X here. And now I have the first seven companies, the first line of seven companies, 270,000 people. And I can do the same to each one of these rows. The reason that I separated it into seven lines is that I'm afraid that if I put 77 companies in one long string of text, it may not be digested well by the sales navigator. So uh, you can try. I don't know what's the limitation. Anyway, let's take the second one, the third one, sorry. Put it here. Or you can enter five, six, and seven. And I don't need the list anymore, it, it's here, although I recommend that you save it just in case. So now it's filtered uh, by these 77 companies, but all their employees are inside, obviously I don't need all of them. Um, note that I can also filter by geography, and you may want to consider whether you want to do that or not. We started by companies that have their headquarters in Germany, Switzerland, or Austria. But 
some of their employees may be outside of these countries. I just filtered by the ones which have the uh, headquarters there. So here you can filter by the actual people. So for example, if you want for all these companies, only the ones which are in the United States, the employees for companies whose headquarters is in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, then you can do it this way. In this case, I'm looking for all the employees, the relevant ones, and I don't care where they are located. So I'm not going to filter by geography, by the country, but I want to filter them by their seniority level. So I'm looking for the other ones which are CEO, CIO, etc., VP, director, and manager, which narrows it down to 140,000. Still a lot. And so let's filter it also by their headcount here. Um, 5,000 to 10,000 and over 10,000 just to be on the safe side and it narrows it down to 81,000 and the functions or a department or group in this case uh, for example I am not interested in human resources and not for uh, education so I'm gonna hover over these names these two functions and I'm when I see this sign, I click on it and it becomes red. Now I'm going to do the same here. And now every person who is a member of the education team or the human resources, the HR, will be excluded. All the others will be included. So we're down to 76,000. And now for the title, I'm going to look for CISO, CIO. to be on the safe side here so we're down to 106 so let's say I want everything which has to do with either fraud loss or prevention so I do the same trick that I used here I open the brackets and I write it. fraud or loss prevention close the brackets I can add here as many as I want and hit enter and now we have 145 security everything which has to do with security so we have 500 people or so. I'm going to use some more filtering here in the titles. So let's look for uh, managers of loyalty programs, for example. Mitigation. So we're at 520. So in general, you can look for specific titles for example I want the CTO I can select it from here or place here a string and it will be included and uh, so sales navigator will perform a, a partial search for these strings also look for uh, commerce uh, CSO you can go on and uh, add more of these note that this relates to the um, current role. You can use past or current or past. In this case, we're looking for the current role. So that means people whose current uh, job is one of these. Same goes to the companies. People who work for these companies right now. Not previously and not today and previously, just today, currently. Once you have this, you can uh, import it to whichever tool that you want. And in this case, we filter out. We started from thousands of people and we ended up with 771. So we can target them and then do whatever we want with them.
And that's it. And don't forget to save your search here at the right hand side.